Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about a little tip that I picked up well, a long time ago. <laughs> um, one of my interns actually showed me this little trick um, and hopefully it will help you write some you know, better scripts in Bash. Uh, let's jump into it. Now granted you probably shouldn't be writing Bash scripts but whatever. <laughs> um, but what we're showing today is a way to pass variables as inputs to commands. And, um, you know, let's just say we had some variable named, you know, foo, bar, baz, or whatever. Uh, one way that you can do this, and this is kind of the, the way I used to do this before I learned about this little trick, is you can echo that, and that'll just, you know, re reprint this variable out. And then you can pass, or you, you can pipe the output of that echo command into some other command. So let's actually use uh, Python to show what's going on here. Import sys print sys dot standard out or standard in dot buffer dot read. That'll just show us what the input of this command is. So you can see that uh, it's literally passing the bytes foo bar baz followed by a new line character to the input of um, this program here. And this works fine. There, you know, generally aren't any problems with this, um, but we can do a little bit better, and this might be easier if you're dealing with a pipeline or other stuff like that, or you don't need a pipeline in the middle. Uh, you can use this same, you know, we're gonna we're gonna use the same program here, but instead you can use three uh, <laughs> left angle brackets, and then any string after it. You can actually do variable substitutions in the string as well. So if you want like you know dollar x, you can pass that string in here, uh, and it'll work the same as this echo here. You can also you know pass in some other string, whatever string that you want here. Uh, the right hand side of this triple arrow operand operator is uh, is a string. But anyway, this is this is kind of neat. This is a bash thing, so it won't it won't uh, be supported in you know boring old sh shells. Uh, but you know you can use this feature in bash. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If you have additional stuff you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.